So the Hebrew word slicha means forgiveness. It's one of many words for forgiveness. On the Yom Kippur uh, liturgy, we use the word kapara, which is generally translated as atonement, but actually means, comes from the Hebrew root meaning to cover over. We use the word mechila, which is another word for slicha. So there are, are, um, there are different words in Hebrew that convey the idea of making it right in different ways. Now that making it right is first of all between the individual and God. But Judaism teaches you can't do that relationship, making it right with God, if you don't make it right with your fellow human beings. And therefore you've got to do everything you can. Now sometimes you can't make it right with your fellow human beings, but you've got to try your hardest to be able to do so and to seek to be able to make peace with your fellow human beings, especially those whom you know you've offended anyway.